My name's John Christie, and with my family, we've been here at Loch Dochert for nearly 120 years. We run a very old-fashioned system of mixed land use, utilizing woodlands for timber production, shelter and amenity, hydroelectric production, and we have a flock of Cheviot ewes and a herd of Galloway cattle. The first Galloways came to Loch Dohert in 1951, when my father decided to put breeding cattle on the hill. Prior to that, we'd just taken in summer grazers. And we soon discovered that of the different breeds and crosses that he had started off with, the Galloways were the ones that were going to cut the mustard, as they say. Galloways fit in with hill ground because basically they've been bred for generations to do just that and they've evolved into a breed with good double skinned hairy coats and the ability to convert rough poor quality herbage into food. All our cows are purebred and pedigreed Galloways with the exception of a small group of white bred shorthorns. We produce Galloway females, bulls and blue-grey heifers which come as a result of putting a white bread bull over a Galloway cow. I've always believed that you should farm with nature rather than against it. It's essential that we do that and not try to impose ourselves in an artificial fashion. The cattle play an essential part in maintaining a mixture of different uses in a managed landscape. For example, they produce dung, which feeds invertebrates, insects of all kinds, which again, in turn, provides a feed source for birds. So the cattle grazing the hill do good in so many different ways quite apart from the production of meat and milk. Additionally, the cattle play an essential part in the capture of carbon, which is so important in this day and age. By grazing this vegetation, recycling it, and returning it to the soil, the cattle are playing an essential role. We put uh, one group with Galloway bulls, to produce Galloway females for our own replacements and also to produce Galloway bulls to sell on to other herds and other breeders. And two, two groups run with white bred shorthorn bulls to produce blue greys. The blue grey males are sold on as store cattle for finishing on better land to produce quality beef and the blue-grey females are all sold to regular buyers who've been getting them from us for years and they, they go on to run with terminal sires again to produce top quality beef. My name's Mary McCall Smith. I live at Conachan, which is a hill sheep farm near Creef. We have 1,200 black-faced ewes and 40 blue-grey cows virtually all of which come from Loch Dochert. I buy them as suckle calves straight off their mothers and have done for the past probably 35 years. Um, they are high health status, they're extremely hardy, they're fabulous temperaments and produce good calves, they're milky and they have good longevity and I normally manage to get what I paid for them back as a cast cow. I wouldn't swap them for any other cross or, or purebred. We use uh, a limous and bull uh, bred at Dyke, uh, best calves I've ever had, and they are sold off their mothers at UA uh, at their first November sale. They are very low maintenance food-wise, and don't have a huge veterinary requirement. The vet is very seldom here. 
My blue greys are very much suited to this type of ground. They outwinter and they're very good foragers. I love my Loch Dofford cattle. I'm Robin Brunton. I farm here in partnership with my son Hugh. We farm around 2,000 acres including rented ground. Our main crop is potatoes which we grow down here round about our broth and we've got some rented ground down as far as Fife. And we find that grazing grass rotation with the dung that we also put on, it really lets us try and get the best quality of potatoes at the end of the day. My son started off with pedigree seminoles and he built up to about 80 cows and then about five years ago we bought a stock arable farm up near Tanadice near Forfar. So we wanted to increase the cow herd up to about 250-260 so we decided to reduce the pedigree herd to just the best ones to keep as pure seminoles and then the rest we put in a commercial herd and put the charley over the rest. About seven years ago now, I decided to get three blue-grey heifers from John Christie. He was the ideal person to get them from because we were high health on our herd and John is also high health. So I decided to purchase three heifers from John. When I got them home, Hugh said, if you've got three years, well, we'll have ten. So we've actually increased them just every year and we've now built up to I think we've got 36 with calves at the moment and we've got 12 heifers to come in next year. The heifers up until now have put a cemetery over them for easy calving and this last year we've also had a slayer bull over some of the heifers to try. In the future years we just put them over a charley or cemetery just depending because the cemetery leaves you a really nice coloured calf that you can also sell on as a heifer to either keep for ourselves or to sell on. The blue greys, they're very easy to handle, carve, and they've got good feet, and they need very little food over the winter. They can virtually live on nothing. Another great advantage is they can live out, as long as there's a field available, they only really have to come in for actual carving to make it easier for the stockmen. And they can get almost back onto the grass as soon as there's grass available. We find that the, the heifers really grow on when they come back onto this arable ground down near our growth. We're looking forward to go up and seeing John and the Christies this year again to collect some more. My name's Peter Christie and I help look after the Galloways here at Loch Dohert. Um, we're standing here amongst the group of Galloways, that, the cows that we breed pure. One aspect of the way we run things at Loch Dohert means that we've got older cows in the group that goes to the Galloway Bull. Uh, this is mostly due to the way we choose them from amongst the cows that have previously been with the Whitebread Bull. So we end up with a fairly good age in our cattle. We've had cows up to 19 year old on the place and rearing a calf age 17. Uh, this longevity we find is pretty good for the balance sheet of the herd. Definitely producing more calves in their lifetime is a good way to make a prosperous herd. And now we're with a group of cows who have been running with the Whitebread Shorthorn Bull and we can see the blue-grey calves from last year's crop. These are the calves that, uh, the heifer calves anyway, will be in demand from our customers who will then add them to their herd and produce quality, fairly cheap to feed beef calves. Years ago we had a very good white bread bull, Bernay Jagasy, that we bought from the late Brian Hoch. And we reckoned once his day was done his genetics would be gone. So we bought the initial two white bread shorthorn females. And from that, like Topsy, it's just grown. 
We've now got seven females and we produce a few white bread bulls every year which we sell to go on to not just Galloway cows and producing blue greys but also on to Highlanders, Welsh blacks and possibly others. I'm Andrew Gordon and we're up at uh, Glen Cook on the Western Highlands. Uh, my main home is in Blair Athol where we farm in both places. The white bread shorthorns are doing a good job for me in producing a very saleable calf from a Highland cow and she's living hard up here in the summer and she gets silage in the winter down at Invergarry. I've always been getting bulls from John. The one we bought last spring has just transformed this summer, just grown like mad. Uh, my father bought this, this estate in uh, 1955. I then started uh, farming when I left the army in 1977 and he gave me all his non-registered cows and a bull and I was selling calves in Fort William in the autumn for 75 quid and that didn't work. I concentrated the mind in 2002 with foot and mouth and decided that the way forward was to concentrate on one breed and I particularly liked the Highlander, I always liked them. When my father died soon after that uh, I bought his Highland herd off him and I brought them back up here. There's not many of them left now and the trouble with crossing as I'm doing with a white bread was you could never, you always could have buy in females and, and this sort of game doesn't warrant paying thousands of pounds for a, a, a pedigree Highland cow. We I want something which has been brought up on hard country and doesn't need much attention, she doesn't need too much to eat, she's quiet temperament and why the, why the white bread? Because again I think that breed has been untampered with like so many other pedigree breeds, they're all getting too big. I'm after a small size now and we're take, keeping the females of this cross back at Blair Athol as my stock cow and we're crossing them with an Aberdeen Angus bull and those calves are doing really well, we've been doing that for three years. So white bread shorthorn Highland cross for me, very like the blue grey cow, doing the same job. They never go in the shed apart from when we're handling them. They're great and they're doing some good to this wild land up here which is very poor quality grazing temperament's excellent and, and uh, health is always good and they don't mind living out. It, they haven't had anything except the mother's milk and, and what you can see up here which is not much. So, and, and yet they're fit, they're curious, um, they're, um, they're, they're doing the job for me. The calf when you spain it uh, is probably about uh, getting on for half the weight of its mother if not more, two thirds of the weight and uh, I was finding with the old uh, cross cows I had that I wasn't getting anywhere near that but uh, these calves when we spain them the majority of them will be um, well some will be getting on towards 300 kilos not many of the cows are 600 they're smaller um, so we're, we're, we're in the park uh, off very poor ground My name's Anthony Dowling. I'm a farmer in Kalin. Uh, we run a small farm with roughly 50 cows and 200 ewes. Uh, it's a farm partnership. We do a little bit of contracting. There's my son Oliver and my wife Kay. The cows are all Welsh blacks and they're all polled. We have tried various different bulls over them before, but far and away the easiest is a white bread shorthorn cross. This was recommended to me several years ago now. We're actually on our second white bed shorthorn bull. They're very easy calving. They're quite small calves. They're on their feet very fast. They're like little deer. And they're looking for milk straight away. They weigh about 30, 35 kilos when they're born. The calves are all born outside. The cows are outwintered, even in this horrendous climate. The reason we bought bulls from John at Loch Dockart we know his bulls are acclimatised to our area for fluke, tick and the weather and we knew they'd do fine when they came here. We also knew that John has been breeding these for a very long time 
and uh, he knows what he's doing. And so far I've had absolutely no complaints about what his bulls produce. Most of my heifers go off to a man on the island of Islay. He comes back every year, buys a bunch of them. And the steers, I keep them for a year. They go out to summer grazing and then there's usually one man buys the whole lot off the field and he either puts the bigger ones into a shed and fattens them or runs the rest outside over winter and fattens them off grass the next summer. So I've made my life on the marketing side very easy. We're quite a diverse farm with holiday cottages and my son, my wife and I all do other work. So trying to make our life easier, we were looking for a very easy carving breed and the white bred shorthorn is absolutely 100% the easiest carving breed I've ever come across. Um, and that's me breeding cattle for 40 years. We've demonstrated how we turn sunlight and rainwater, of which we get plenty here at Loch Dochert, into top quality breeding male and female cattle, which then go on to more fertile pastures and produce top quality beef. We've thoroughly enjoyed doing it over the years and we intend to continue to enjoy it for a few years yet.